India's biggest conglomerate, Reliance Industries, plans to raise Rs 20,000 crore in its largest ever domestic bond sale this week. The sale of these non-convertible debentures or NCDs will take place on the BSE's bond platform on November 9 from 10.30 to 11.30 am according to an Economic Times report. Hi, I am Saloni Goel from ET Markets and here's all you need to know about RIL's biggest rupee bond issue. The bond issue has a base size of Rs 10,000 crore and an additional green shoe option of Rs 10,000 crore. Basically, a green shoe option is an over allotment option. It means that in case the demand for the bond is higher than what the company was expecting, they can sell more of those to investors. The bonds that Reliance is issuing are of 10-year maturity, rated AAA, which is the highest rating, and have been accorded stable outlook by Crystal and Care ratings. Companies often tend to prefer bond issues over taking a loan to raise debt as they are simpler and more cost-effective. Also, unlike share sales, they don't dilute the shareholders' ownership. Now, if Reliance raises the entire amount of Rs 20,000 crore, it would mark the largest ever fundraising through bonds by an Indian corporate apart from the traditional banking and finance sector. Reliance Industries is India's largest company by market value and its business interests range from petrochemical refining to wireless communication services and consumer goods. It is expanding rapidly into 5G and venturing into new areas like green energy and financial services. RIL had last raised money through the domestic debt market in April 2020, a month after the national lockdown was imposed to prevent the COVID-19 from spreading. Now, what does Reliance plan to do with the funds raised? According to the information document, Reliance could use up to 100% of the funds for refinancing existing borrowings. It could use up to 50% of the proceeds for ongoing capital expenditure. Further, it could use up to 50% of the funds uh, for making investments in or for lending to its subsidiaries. And also, it said that up to 25% of the money raised could be used for other purposes in the ordinary course of business. Eligible investors who can apply for the bond issue are all qualified institutional buyers or any other non-qualified institutional buyer which is specifically mapped by Reliance. The fundraising plan comes at a time when Reliance Geo, India's top telco, has been rapidly expanding 5G networks and looking at countrywide coverage in a few months. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching.